So today I'm going to show you how to record your screen on Windows 10. Um, you may have seen my previous video on how to record your screen back, uh, this was a while ago, back when I was on Windows 7, and I recently discovered this newer software um, that I think works a lot better. So I definitely had to make an updated video and show you guys how to use it. So this will also work on Windows 7, but uh, just since Windows 10, Windows 10 seems to be taken over, I did the video for this one. So um, the software is called Open Broadcaster Software, and it's at obsproject.com. It's a completely free and open source um, screen recorder, and I'm just pretty amazed by the features it has and how well it works. So definitely highly recommend it. So to download it, all you have to do is click on your operating system here. They actually have versions for, for everything, but uh, we're going to be doing it on Windows 10. So just click on it, and then uh, on the executable it downloads, just click on that. Then um, once the software installs, like you just have to hit next twice and then install. Uh, when you open up the pro uh, the program, you're gonna see that there's a lot of different settings here you can play with and everything. And it seems pretty difficult to use at first, but it's not too bad. And uh, for this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to record your screen and uh, set up audio, like I'm gonna record off a microphone. In a future video, I'll show you how to record games as well. It's just that's a little more advanced. So for now, we're gonna keep it a little bit simple. So the first thing to do is go to the settings and then go to the video tab. So for me, it's important that I want to be outputting my uh, my video in 1080p because that's what I'm recording at, but it's also what a good high quality YouTube video is going to be at is 1080. So I want to make sure that I keep it at a high resolution. So I'm going to bump that up to 1080. For yours, it really matters that you want to keep it basically at either the resolution you're recording at or lower. So don't try and set it at 4K if you're recording in 720p, because then it'll, it won't look very good. Um, the second thing to go to is the output. So for me, I've always had the best luck with uh, doing MKVs for uploading to YouTube, but this isn't really too important because YouTube will also support FLVs, MP4s, and MOVs. So um, it doesn't necessarily, it, like the, just the default FLV will work, but I like to set it as MKV just because it's what I've always used. I like to keep it kind of kind of the same. So whatever you want to use there, you're welcome to use it. So after you set up those two features, then those are the two most important. Uh, we just need to add our video source and our audio source before we start recording. So uh, to do that, you just go down here and you hit the plus button and you'll get all these different uh, options. So to set up the video source, if you're using a camera, then you'd want to select video capture device. I want to record the screen of the computer, so I'm going to go to display capture. And then you can give it a name here. I'm just going to hit OK. And you'll see it instantly pops up and it shows exactly what's on the screen. So if you had multiple displays, they would show up in the list right here. I'm only using one display, so and it's the one I do want to capture, so I can just leave this list alone. And uh, I also want to capture the mouse, so I'll just leave that box checked. So then I just hit OK, and now you see that in the scene that we have right here, which is what this is, then we have the screen actually recording. So now I want to add audio to the project. So the, what you may notice here is that it already has my microphone by default actually on here, and then it also has an option for desktop audio. So if your microphone wasn't hooked up by default, like if you didn't see this green bar moving at all while you're making sound, um, then you would just click this uh, little gear over here and go to properties and then in this device drop down you can select your microphone from the list so as long as Windows recognizes your microphone then it'll show up in this list here so I'm gonna choose my microphone it had already selected it but it doesn't really matter the other option here is for desktop audio so if you were recording like a game or something like that and you wanted to record the music coming out of it then you would set this desktop audio uh, option, like you would leave it on. And if you specifically didn't want to hear that, then you could just drag the volume all the way down to zero. So, and that would capture things like the Windows noises too, like any error messages or anything like that. So um, those are really just the two audio features you have to set up. So at that point, you're actually ready to capture your screen. Like this is overall pretty simple to, uh, <laughs> to set up and everything. So to do that, you just hit the start recording button right here. And you may notice when you start recording, it doesn't really seem like anything happens. Like you can just kind of click around, you can come back. But it is actually recording, it's just recording it to a file in the background. So then whenever you're finished, you can hit the stop recording option right here. 
And then um, to actually view your, what you did record, you can go up to the file menu here and then show recordings. So you can see that uh, what I captured is right here and it's in the MKV, MKV format that I chose. So then I can just double click on this to open it or I can open it with a VLC. So you can't hear the audio of it because I'm capturing this through my, uh, through my microphone, my audio is playing on my headphones, but I can hear it just fine through the, uh, through the headphones and you can see that it did capture it just fine. So within just a, just a couple minutes, like some very easy settings, you can, uh, you can capture your screen and then have a file that's ready just to upload right to Windows, uh, up to YouTube or something like that. Um, if there's anything else like that you want to know how to do, I'll make some more advanced tutorials, but this was just a really simple, like, just, just to get you going. So this should be all you need to, for just the basics.